This is the rear wheel of a Tula or Thula Urban Glide, uh, and it should be more or less the same across most of the Tula range. Uh, today we're going to show you how to replace the tire or the inner tube, uh, should you need to do this. Uh, in order to get the process started, you're going to want to remove the cap from the nozzle of the inner tube and release the air. Now in this case, the tire is already pretty flat, uh, but if you yours is not flat, then what you're going to want to do is stick something in there and depress that button and squeeze the tire to squeeze out the air so that it's nice and pliable. Uh, next, you're going to want to separate the tire from the rim itself, and uh, you, they have tools for this, uh, but what you essentially need is something, preferably metal, uh, that is rounded and doesn't have any sharp edges that will damage uh, the inner tube in particular uh, when you're prying off the tire. Uh, I just have these little metal pieces that I'm going to be using today. Uh, you just want to stick whatever you're using underneath and pull up and pull the tire up over the rim. I'm just going to work my way around. Now the Tula does use 16 inch tires. Um, it's a little bit closer to a bicycle tire than a lot of other strollers and uh, they have that size actually on children's bicycles. So if you need replacement tires or inner tubes, uh, one tip would be just to go to a sporting goods shop. You don't have to get specifically a uh, stroller tire or inner tube for this. You might not have that gray rim, of course, but that's okay, I suppose. Now, once you get this worked around a bit, I think about halfway usually, you can just use your fingers and zip it up. Then you just want to push that nozzle through the hole and you can pull out the inner tube and then patch it, throw it away, replace it, set it aside while you replace the tire and so on. There's the inner tube. And then to remove the rest of the tire, it's just a matter of pulling that back end of the tire up over that rim and it will release like this. So, uh, reasons of course for replacing the tire, the inner tube's uh, kind of obvious because it's a puncture problems usually or nozzle problems. But with the tire you want to keep these in good working order. This is a jogging stroller so it's important that things uh, are properly functioning. You want to check it uh, occasionally for cracks and uh, make sure that uh, if it's bulging out on one side um, that can sometimes be a problem with the inner tube, but most often it's a problem with the tire itself. There's a metal ring along the inside here, so uh, check it, make sure that it's not poking out of the rubber in any place. Okay, uh, as I put the tire on, the replacement tire, you'll notice, uh, usually again, I don't, I don't think about this so much with strollers, but uh, when it comes to a jogging stroller, these sorts of things are important. Uh, if you look at your tire, very often there is a drive direction. So you want to think about uh, which side the wheel uh, is going on on the stroller and make sure that the tire is facing forwards. And that has to do with the tread and how the tire is actually designed so that it wears down um, at a slower rate, I suppose. So now we're going to put the tire back on. Just assume this is the new replacement one. Uh, you just want to get that back lip of the tire up over the edge of the rim, pull it all the way around. There we go. Then you're going to take your inner tube, and I like my inner tube to be a bit flatter than this, so I'm going to release a bit more air when I'm putting in an inner tube. If you buy a new inner tube, it'll of course be very flat and folded in the box. There we go. Now I'm just going to find the place where the hole in the rim is, and I'm going to position the nozzle there, and I'm going to start pushing in this inner tube, making sure that it doesn't get twisted as it goes in. Then I'm going to put that nozzle in place through the hole, like this, and then I'm going to go around again and just make sure that that inner tube is pushed in below the lip 
of the, uh, the rim. And the reason for this is you don't want that inner tube to get pinched when you're pushing that second lip of the tire back inside the wheel. So you just want to check it and then begin to reinsert the rest of the tire. Just hold it in one place and push it around. Now, um, it's important before you pump to look at the tire in relation to the rim and check that you have an even distance. So uh, this is one of the reasons why the outward facing of tires has various rings. That's so that it's easier to see that the distance is even around the outside. Uh, again, these sorts of things are extra important when we're dealing with a jogging stroller because what happens when it's not even is that the wheel is going to kind of limp along and that's definitely going to affect its performance in relation to jogging. Gonna attach your pump and then I like to pump it a bit but not so much that I can't still readjust the tire. <laughs> bit of a pump, check it, that allows me to look at those rings again and just check that everything is even. And then when you're sure it's okay, you can just do the final pumping. Don't recommend pumping to the max PSI of tires because, uh, in my opinion, that's too full usually. Uh, not all tire manufacturers are thinking exactly about the wheel that the tire is going on. But you want it to be firm with just the slightest amount of spring. That's the way I like to think about it. Yeah, that's it. Just replacing the nozzle cap. That's how you shift out the tire and or inner tube on the uh, rear wheel of a Tula or Tula Urban Glide. Again, it applies to other models as well. Uh, we hope this video has been useful to you, and if it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.